from my understanding, and correct mm-hmm. me if I'm wrong, because you'd probably be the person that would know, from my understanding, Ty was going, okay, we have these sets already built and I don't want to just tear them down. And then there was this idea to go deeper, but it doesn't feel yeah. like Pearl from what we're already seeing seems very fleshed out in a sense where I'm like, I don't feel like this was like, Hey, we're almost wrapped. You guys want to stick around for a couple of weeks, you know, like, no. um, like how, how early on into the X journey was it like, let's do Pearl. And then was it an, Oh my God, shocker that a 24 was like, go ahead and do Pearl. <laughs> like, here's another, I mean, you know, there's elements of that. Like, the process of Ty writing the script for X went on for a really long time, right? Mm-hmm. Like I was talking with him about it and we were like, I was reading versions of it and having conversations with him back in uh, like fully a, a year or more before he left for New Zealand, right? And as it got closer, it what ended up like there was like, it ebbed and flowed and then it was like oh 2824 wants to make this movie or we're going to go to georgia and make this movie and it was like ty was like i don't want to go to georgia and make this movie in the middle of pandemic there's gonna be all the yeah. pandemic like covid protocols and it's like it's going to be getting cold there and it's got to be summertime and blah 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 and so it was like maybe it's not going to happen and then like i don't know two weeks or a month later or something i can call it's like no it's going to happen in new zealand it's like oh okay great um and then around that same time, Ty was talking about like, yeah, I want to make this be a, a three movie thing, you know? And so he was like, and I got this idea for the prequel for it, what it'll be. And it, and it was that idea, basically. It was the idea of what Pearl is, right? And he he was talking about it. He hadn't, I don't think he had really written much of it down until he got down to... Um, New Zealand was in managed isolation, you know, the quarantine thing for two weeks before he could get into the country. And that's when he really pushed through and like kind of wrote the whole script. Right. Um, So that would have been like, I think he went down there like around Halloween of uh, 2020. Yeah. Cause I got there the very beginning of 2021. Right. So and then, but, and so basically he was talking to A24. He was like saying what you're saying, like, we're going to make these, this movie and then we're going to have these sets and I've got this other idea and I've got this other movie that we could do that like is going to take advantage of all that. We could amortize it. We wouldn't yeah. need as, as big a budget. You got everybody already here, blah, 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 blah. And they were very much like, uh, you know, sort of into doing it for a long period of time. And we got into pre-production on X and then we got into production on X and I think it was like about halfway through production on X when it finally was like, okay, you can do Pearl too, right? And so it wasn't like out of the blue. I mean, the whole thing had been, been sure. talked about and, and there was a whole, like as pre-production for X kind of wound down, we were getting ready to shoot. Everybody was like, well, are we gonna be continuing on or not? Cause like, it's gonna be hard to get things going while we're pre- you know, in production and blah, blah, especially yeah. Tom, the production designer was like, what are we doing? Um, <laughs> right. You know, and then, w- w- so they, they green lit it. And um, then we had a, another short pre-production period in between the two movies where we went back to Wellington and, um, you know, did pre-production for Pearl that was ab- abbreviated. And then the shoot for Pearl was much shorter too. Um, but really? you know, wow. that's, it all went together. And, and then we're supposed to start on the next one, like in the beginning of the next year. I didn't expect, obviously, with the way the movie goes, no spoilers, but I didn't expect for there to be that little tag at the end. At that the end yeah. And I was like, wait, let's just roll this now. Let's just like go right into this. And Mia yeah. Goth is like, obviously, th- what, going back to what you were saying a little while ago, like the writing and performances, like when you watch Ty's movie specifically, it's like this tightrope where you can see the you can see these moments where, like you said, the, where they're sitting around eating sandwiches and talking mm. a different cast and a different script. And this mm-hmm. is the most boring movie you've ever seen. Yeah. Like when I was watching house of the devil, I was sitting there going like, I should be bored. Right. Yeah, like, I, I, like, 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 like I took a second and I was sitting there and it, they were, I think they were in like the pizza shop or something. Mm-hmm. And I was like, nothing's happened in this movie, but I'm like totally sucked into it. Like, Mm -hmm. and that's the thing with X is like so much rides on 
Mia Goss performance, so much rides on the way that it's shot. And like this, it could so easily have just been like, oh, here's this slasher ripoff. It could have yeah. gone that route, but it's so much its own thing. And going from the extreme style of that into Pearl, which from what I understand, it's supposed to be like the Mary Poppins version of this. Totally different movie. <laughs> like, Wildly, radically different. Yeah. Did you feel like Whiplash going back to back on that? Like, No, it was great because it was like, okay, we did that. Let's do this, you know? And Ty really wanted to make Pearl in black and white, actually. And we, we really? did a lot of, we started with like, well, yeah, we have all these just fantastic. That's stories. shocking to me oh, because of how been... colorful. Yeah, well. Like, like when that was when like basically a 25 said, no, you can't do that. We, we wouldn't want to do <laughs> really? that. I think they had, you know, they put out like the lighthouse or, you know, yeah. and something else I think that was like black. And it was just like, we can't do all these black and white movies. Um, at least that's my understanding of it. Like, but I thought they'd be the studio to be like, can you please make it in black and white? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> We're a 24, you know? So, you know, when, it, when, it, when that became clear, Ty kind of just pivoted and he said, you know what we'll do? We'll just make it like super technicolor, crazy, like, you know, yeah. 1930s uh, musical kind of deal, you know? Yeah. Um, and we just went all in on that, you know, it was just like, okay, let's just, let's just go for that and, and make it be that, you know, like getting back to what you were just saying about like, Oh, house of the devil or, or the, you know, baloney eating scene in, in X, like these could be really boring in other ways. Like, I think that the thing is like, what you've got with Ty is a person, again, I'll go back to what I said earlier, is like, he's very clear on his aesthetic. Like yeah. he is making things that he thinks is good, you know? And he's not trying to second guess what he thinks is good. He just mm -hmm. is like, I think this is good. So we're gonna do it like this. and. Mm -hmm. You know, so I found this with a lot of people involved in like creative stuff that th that's their currency. Like that's what they have is the ability to say, I think this is good and it yeah. will be done this way, you know, and not like, what is good? How should we do it? Mm -hmm. You know, that, um, yeah. and so I think, you know, that's, that's what you get. Like, that's why it's like, you know, that's why he cast Mia. That's why, you know, Martin Henderson is in there being the way he is, you know, like another, uh, you know, a very obvious way for Wayne to have been played would have been kind of like the sleazy, you know, greaser kind of like kind of sleazy strip club owner dude, but it's yeah. no Wayne's like the, like, you know, the big brash guy. Very Matthew McConaughey, like you yeah. like him, even though he's not really a great. <laughs> great yeah. He's yeah. kind of a dubious character, but he's super, um, he's got tons of charisma, you know, um, and those are all choices that like, you know, fundamentally Ty is, is, is making based on what he thinks would be good, you know? Yeah. And I mean, and then he's drawing in people, he's casting people, he's bringing people in to work with him who also see it that way, basically, yeah. you know? With all that in mind, you know, cause you have that too, right? You have that, you said earlier, you have those gut feelings of like, okay, I know this is the right way to do it. Like if I try to fit this other thing, was there anything that you fought for that was like, I know this needs to be shot this way. Like I know, or was there anything that you were like, I see it this way. Can we please just try it this way? I know it's going to work. You know, um, I, in the, in the beginning when pre-production, I was like, Hey, there's this lens that I've become familiar with is this thing called a, a, a ultra prime ultra prime 8r and it's this airflex made this eight millimeter rectilinear lens that's like got the craziest perspective because it's it should be all fisheye based on like the field mm -hmm. of view is 270 degrees or something like that and but it's like rectilinear so it really doesn't distort like that so you're looking at these pictures you're looking and, it, and it's what was like in the van when you're in the very front of the van, you see the entire yeah. van back like that. Or when you're up above Owen in the RJ in the shower and it's like, he's a million miles down or we're, yeah. we're up above looking at uh, Howard and Pearl having sex on the bed. And it's like, you're way up there. Those are all that. And I, I, I was like, Ty, we should really, you should check this out. Like it was like, and, and then also I was like, and I'm going to bring this, I have this like, prosumer Laowa 24 millimeter probe lens right this and we use that for like uh you know the shot of uh the pitchfork going in through 
into the eye, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's kind of more like that. It's not like we need to do this this way. It's more like, hey, check out this as an option. Like, what could we do with this, mm -hmm. you know? Or what, how could we do with that? And then, you know, on Pearl, we didn't use any of that at all. Like Pearl yeah. is like way more just like straight kind of almost like an art movie or something. Yeah. Um, so it's not so much like that I'm arguing for like, oh, we should really do this mm -hmm. as much as like, I oh, will make suggestions about like, hey, what do you think of this? Like, yeah. what if we did it like that, you know? Yeah. And I, I see that much more as my role as opposed to like, because the thing is too, with a director who's, especially a director who's gonna go on and edit something themselves, if they don't understand it and feel it themselves, it's gonna be a disaster, no matter how much it. you think it's gonna be great. Cause they don't, if they don't get it, they're gonna be sitting with that, that footage later on in the editing room going like, why the hell did I let them talk me into this? Because I don't yeah. get it, you know? Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah, I'll ask. I want to ask just two more things on this before we move to our uh, our random round here. But uh, was there anything that you shot that you felt good about that didn't make it? And this could be on oh. this could be on X or any of your projects, I guess. Actually, because I, I'm curious to know if there's any like, man, I shot this amazing moment that will <laughs> never see the light of day. Um, you know, do you have any moments like that you can think of? But, you know, that's the kind of question I'm terrible with because, like, I you know honestly kind of have a terrible memory um i guess like, that helps though you're not yeah, you're not thinking about it every day going. i mean i will tell you that like pearl there's a lot of stuff that we did there's a lot of scenes a lot of different things that um are not in the movie right mm -hmm. like and that was you know kind of more of a function of like how it worked when it got put together um whereas x like I don't really remember anything in X that didn't get used so much. It was more like we shot it and then it, that was what it was. Um, you know, there's been a lot of, on, in television, that kind of thing tends to happen more, you know, because yeah. that process is, is less driven by one particular creative individual yeah. who like as a director seeing yeah, it through, season right? Season in mind. That it yeah, has so like, you know, you get a guest director comes in and, and shoots a sequence and you think like, oh, they're gonna, you know, this great shot could live all the way through as a one or whatever, right? But then when it gets cut, like, okay, the director has their cut. And then, you know, then it goes off to the showrunners who, you know, weren't on set, weren't doing any of that. And they may or may not like that. And they more than likely will cut it up and change it, you know? Wow. Um, I think that's also why a lot of television tends to get driven into sort of the same kind of coverage and, and editing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's changing a little bit now because I think directors in television are trying to sort of in the world like of like the eight episode series and stuff, you yeah. are now getting more like director driven things because they're shooting, right. you know, one big little lies episode. is the same director for the whole season. Yeah. And that, season. that brings that whole thing back around to like, okay, you have more one, putting the taking the that kind of creative control away from the writers like it was in television and previously like yeah. when it was 22 episodes in network and stuff like that and and putting it into uh the director's realm which is you know much more the, the movie model um i think you end up with more possibly more unique and and particular like vision driven yeah. work you know right. 